So we're in Tarnov at the square of the old synagogue. It's a magnificent building built in 1600s. This building was torched by the German Nazis in the very beginning of World War II, already in November of 1939. Only the bima of the structure is left and the original external fence taking us from this square into the Zhidowska street, the Jewish street, which takes us all the way straight to the market square of Tarnov. Pretty much before the war, almost every city in Poland would have a Jewish street, but in the after-war communist reality, such names were being immediately changed into something else. Some of those Jewish streets existed in the medieval Polish cities already in 12, 13, 14 hundreds, and very often they were already changed into the streets of names of saints in 14 hundreds, when for the first time the Jews would be expelled into some other residential areas. So we are just entering into the market square of Tarnów, and a part of its beauty with a 1500s splendid city hall built in a Renaissance style. This idyllic place today is also a Holocaust site. In June of 1942, when the first deportation was organized by the German Nazis out of the Tarnow Ghetto, the German Nazis forced into the square a couple of thousands of Jewish men forced them to lie down uh, with their faces in the dirt and conducted a very brutal selection. So we are in this idyllic city center of Tarnów, yet at the same time we are in the, one of the Holocaust sites. Obviously we are in Galicia, a market square of every city here before the war would be in about 70-80% in the Jewish hands and the houses would be the Jewish houses and that's a typical trace of a mezuzah remaining still in the frame door of one of the 1500s buildings.